thought of something else. Ha ha. Well, why am I angry? Common feeling. Um, can be scary for some. I used to be worried about my outbursts of feeling angry. That was before I understood why I was feeling angry. I think it's a good thing to do. Um, so, not the same for everyone, but this might be you. Um, it's when we, because repressing your feelings is um, not a healthy thing to do, often. So, um, when, I mean, it's such a common occurrence when you're growing up. It might not be with everyone, and some people who are younger than me may have good experiences of um, growing up and have family members who accommodate and things like that. But when I was growing up back in my day, then they didn't really get, they didn't understand that at all, really, what I needed or what emotional support I needed or, um, you know, just under my fears and needs weren't met, really. Um, and I'm not blaming them in some ways because they had their own things going on. So, um, but what it does did do for, for me was I repressed my feelings and... Um, so, you know, I, I kept in how I felt about things and um, by the time I got to my teenage years, I had a lot of anger in me. Um, you will probably find that is common often, but you have repressed anger and I, because you haven't learned how to communicate then, because, because you might have neurotypical family and they might not get it, then it's really difficult because you haven't got a voice in some ways. Um, and like I'm saying, I'm not going against these people. I'm just saying it's what the understanding wasn't there as much and might still not be there in some situations now. And I can appreciate how difficult it is for a neurotypical brain to understand what's going on with an autistic brain or neurodiverse. And some things that were done to try and... What they wanted was build my confidence ended up making it a lot worse um, because it was harsh um, it was like throwing me in the deep end, but for somebody with high anxiety issues, it's the best way is, I find, to let them lead and have control over those situations. So you, you quite often you're going to end up with repressed anger um, and, you know, obviously this creates those health issues, those common health issues, which... Um, will be associated with that digestive issues and stuff like that so quite this and now right now right in your life all this is relating to what i know of there's other things probably but i all i know what i know so um so right now you will may have repressed anger a lot of and then you might find you have outbursts so if you aren't, if you don't feel like you're being listened to, that will make you angry, have repressed anger. If you don't feel like you're being listened to, you may end up just shutting it off and becoming at a point where just meh, you just don't bother trying anymore. Um, but there will be some feelings of anger probably within you from that. The fact that um, society may not get you um, can cause anger. Um, you might be angry at people around you because they just don't communicate and, and you're trying. Um, and then this is why when you end up in situations where I always say it like the person who's at front of house in a shop or someone like that is nasty or in a bad mood, then you will feel it more and that will make you angry and you might lash out at them because it's just like you might get snappy at them. So, um, yeah, the, this is there are reasons why you have repressed anger so don't feel like you're a bad person got something else that concerns someone with that kind of anger is um the guilt associated with having an outburst so it's a nasty cycle really um and trying to understand your own feelings which we don't generally sometimes um that creates confusion fear and anger as well so this is why you might have outbursts 
um, and if it's possible because I know the processing is difficult it took me a while to learn what it was I felt about things because I didn't really know what I felt about things and I was lucky one a lucky one that I could learn learn that and search because I had at one point so many anger issues that I didn't know whether I was coming or going and I couldn't relate that to anything I was like I don't know why and because my brain was delayed at processing because I'm nearly 50 it took me until now really um, if maybe if I'd had someone to talk to about this I probably would have progressed quicker I'm not saying that everybody will because it depends how your autism affects you um, but um, if you have understanding people around you in a safe space to let out your feelings or, or, or finding a way to let out that anger but in ways that may be better for you I don't know kickboxing fighting yeah, fighting whoops no nope. boxing <laughs> no don't do fighting <laughs> or anything that helps you I do running so running helps me get out some of that pent-up feeling so if you find you that kind of person this is what may be the answer is finding an outlet for that anger trampolining um, dancing, I tell you what, music and dancing is fab if you can do it. Wow, it does give you so many happy feelings that the, you know, the uh, the anger can be eased a bit. Um, yeah, and I just thought I'd do that topic because I think it's very common. Okay. <laughs>